Uh, all right, good morning. And uh, it's good to be back, back at the console, uh, ready to rock and or roll, whichever comes first. Uh, so it's day 32 of the Song a Day Challenge, and if you're following along at home, you're probably wondering... Last time we saw you, there's the camera now, it was over here, now it's over here, keeps jumping around. Uh, last time we saw you, it was day 29, what the hell's happening? Well, uh, life is happening. Um, yeah, I missed uh, a couple of days streaming, but I was still writing, so um, I count those days uh, as part of the Song of Day Challenge, because I kept, I kept writing those days, I just wasn't live. And um, here we are, day 32, uh, officially past the one-month mark. Of course, it hasn't been consecutive, um, but this is my live stream, so I can count it however I like. Uh, <laughs> but, but seriously, folks, um, the streams were getting, not in the stream so much, but the... Uh, Writing was getting long in the tooth. I had been phoning it in for, well, 29 sessions. Um, and because uh, I just wanted to crank out some quick content and see if I could build, start building my playlists for streampigs.com. Um, and now it's time to up the game and literally uh, start. Uh, getting you involved in the in the creation process so i've created a couple of commands chat commands um, that you guys can use to throw out suggestions to put to generate ideas um, it's going to go horribly off the rails i know this and that's what's going to be great about it so uh so right now I'm going to kick it off with a command for a time signature. So time sig, let's see where we're starting. Time signature is 158. That's where we're starting. Yay. All right. 158. <laughs> 15 8. Typically, I start with a pre-made groove, um, but since I'm starting from absolute zero, I'm going to hand roll these grooves. Uh, this way, I have more control over the count, um, especially when we get into these stranger, uh, these stranger meters. I want to have a little more control than relying on uh, some other drummer that is counting differently than I would. So with 15, eight, huh, that's going to divide up between seven and eight. So if we're going to split it, split it down the middle, more or less um, seven and eight, actually, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, let's adjust the tempo. We're going to bring this tempo way the hell down. Let's go down a hundred. Um, so uh, that's actually not too bad because if we can, if we think about it in two bars of two different meters, we've got seven, eight, and we've got eight, eight, which is just four, four. So we could create, um, some rhythmic tension and resolution with this. So let's. Think of the count of the seven. That splits up into three and four pretty easily. So we could do uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's our seven. And then eight, eight. We could count that as eight, eight, or we could do four, four. And kind of, so it shifts back to something a little more familiar to the listener. Um, so let's try that. 
So how's that going to break up? One and two and three and oops, four and. So let's get in those ands. And let's see if we have anything useful here. All right, not too bad. Let's let's get the ands of two and four in there. And let's get the hi hats counting the eighth notes. Something to lock on to. That wasn't a hi-hat. Okay, now with the hi-hats counting the eighths. Uh, I don't need all of these kick drums, though I kicked that one. Nope. Get rid of that one. And that one. I think I almost want this to be another snare just so that we have a, wait, is that three? No, no, I do want that to be the kick. And oh yeah, we do end with a snare there. Okay. Um, let's see. And two and oh, I took over the wrong one here. There we go. Although I did like that better. <laughs> um. All right. We got 15-8 going. Um, let's see if I can log into this. Actually, doesn't sound too uh, out of tune today. See, I have another command that ge generates notes. It's called note me, and I'm going to use that to pick a key signature. So the key signature is D sharp or E flat. Great. So we have um, potentially a piece in E flat at 15.8. And I'm going to keep the tempo at 100 because, uh, yeah, anything else would be stupid. Yeah, here we go. All right, what if we did this as more of like a... We do six and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, six. Two. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then and then we could do five. Keep it going. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dun, do, do, dun, dun, dun. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Break that up a bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm adding a sixteenth. Going to sixteen again. robotic uh, <laughs> groove is killing me too but that's not the problem three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five that really matters one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Had something, all right. And anyway, I'm in E flat. Oh shit! I'll record. Not yet. Yep. There we go. 
it didn't occur to me that uh, 15 splits up in by three perfectly. <laughs> Let me try tuning up again. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's my own stupidity. Because you know math. <laughs> Funk. Do you want some funk? Yes, let's start with that. Okay, um, let's try that again. So, I'm kind of feeling E flat minor. I'm always feeling minor. So the five would be B flat, four would be A flat. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, just keep it a a one four five or four five five four one something like that. Keep it simple. All right, let's go back to the groove. digging that. If I get back on back on the beat.
Nope. I want to go for that last bar. <laughs> I'm trying to find an interesting progression. I got the, I got into the groove, which is good. Um, since it is just five sets of three. That could be interesting. I do a B flat, A flat, G. E flat. So I think I'm gonna go with that progression. It's um, F or G flat in this case, F sharp or G flat major, B flat minor, A flat minor, E flat minor. So let me actually I'm gonna start recording this so I can have something to have a scratch track. Oh, we got a 15 count really. Was I hitting that right? Yeah, okay. I do like that progression. Could also do that with the A flat major instead of the A flat minor. I think I like that even better. It has a little more tension because you're expecting A flat minor.
I've just played every configuration of that chord progression, but the one I want to play. <laughs> 15 count goes on forever. scratch track for that. Uh, let's, uh, let's draw on a bass line just so we can lock that progression down. We're going to have the bass player tune, tune, tune down a half step so we can get that deep E flat. And we're going to start with G flat. simple to the threes B flat A flat and E flat twice I think I want to switch up this bass instrument something a little mellower Is my funk rock bass? Is that a little better? Oh, cancel. Let's take some of the edge off of this articulation. Well, that's that's a little more. That's a little rounder. Articulation of that G flat. All right, let's try it with out seventh chords. Second. I'm not used to these uh, this particular fingering of the progression. No, so I wanted, to, I wanted to play the A flat major, so G flat major. That's the part that's fucking me up. Going to the E flat. Let's try recording it. Yeah. 
I've got it under my fingers. That should be good enough for a scratch track. There. Not bad at all. So, let's uh, let's pretend that this is really good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You really have to stretch the imagination, but let's uh, let's duplicate this. Go go around four times. What say? And now we got a new time signature. So I'll hit up my chat here. Ask my bot, give me a time signature. Six four. Okay. That's uh, pretty much like an extension of what we're doing right here. Instead of 15 8, now we're going to 12 8. So that's a pretty easy extension. Um, so let me insert a time signature, 12, 8, and right. So with, really with, with this, I can just take my 15, 8 progression and lop off the last, uh, Bar, interesting. Oh, there it is. Lop, yeah, just cut off the excess, trim the fat, bring it down to 12, and then um, I don't have to play that extra bar of 15, so we're in E flat. At this point, I'd like to modulate. Just to the fourth. I like going up a fourth. At first, it's a it's a nice, comfortable modulation. Ah, but the fifth the fifth sounds nice too. All right, we'll go to the fifth. But the major fifth. Yeah. So let's see. The progression was three, five, four, one. If I were to do the same thing here in the fifth, I would do D, D minor, D minor, F, E flat, B flat. Let's see how that goes. Terribly, apparently. Let's 
See how they play together. Not as dramatic uh, a change as I was hoping. Um, let's right in the bass line, see if that plugs it in. by itself, but what about... You know what might prepare the listener's ear is if we take this E flat up an octave. Um, actually, we'll do both of them. No, do one for now. Because then they will have that sort of backwards leading tone descending leading tone, if that's possible, um, into the D. Do that twice, um, and then we will do the same at the fourth. Yeah. Why the frig not? Keep that at, at 12 8 and just our baseline to be the fourth, which is going to be. Do the minor fourth. Will that work? Because that would be A flat. A flat. <laughs> no, that was A flat. I'm not crazy. A flat, so that would be C flat, which is B minor, a B major. E flat. D flat. A flat. Maybe I'll keep it major, and then when we return to the E flat minor, it'll be a little more dramatic. I'm hoping. There's so much of this is just guesswork. So we're gonna go with the C. Um, wait, why did that go up? Am I, am I editing the wrong thing here? No. I guess I copied the wrong thing. Okay, copy the wrong two bars. Um, so, C. E flat. D flat. No. Yes, D flat. And then A flat. Let me just record the guitar and see if this will work.
that should be good enough for a scratch track. And let's hear all nine bars of this <laughs> massacre. Progression's okay. Um, it, there's there's a lot that could be that could be done there, but what I really like about this is going from the twelve eight to the fifteen eight. Because, and in fact, maybe that's how this has to go. I have to switch these um, progressions. So we start with the with the B flat and the twelve eight the listener's ear gets used to that 12 eight groove and it, you know we're all familiar with 12 eight um we hear it all the time in blues and uh so once you get comfortable with that 12 eight it switches over to the 15 eight you're still in that 12 eight groove and all of a sudden it just keeps going and it makes the mind stutter and that's what i love <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That rhythmic tension. I don't know if you guys felt it. Um, the the fifteen eight by itself is okay. You know, it just just an extra bar of three, whatever. But as soon as you combine the fifteen eight and the twelve eight, because they are so similar, it's the same groove. Just fifteen eight has a little extra, a little extra. Um, it creates this great rhythmic tension, um, and then. When you get back to the 12 8, it's a nice resolution you're comfortable with. It's like, oh, okay. I, I, I feel the groove again. I can, I can dig this. And then the 15 8 comes back around. It's like, oh, why is this going on too long? Now, if I can only make something good out of it. bump up the, the tempo now now that we're now that I'm comfortable with it go from 100 to 130.
ridiculous. <laughs> That's definitely too slow. That's a little better, a little more comfortable. Um, and let's see if we can. Write a little melody over this. So let's see, we're going G flat, B minor, A flat major, E flat minor. Just trying to remind myself what the what E flat looks like on the guitar. Spoiler alert, it looks like every other minor chord minor scale on the guitar. what that sounds like over this. but you can't play an open string you're not tuned down to E flat
no more jerking off. I'm gonna get back to work. So let's see. Writing a melody in 15-8, huh? Korean mode. I guess when we're playing all 16th and 32nd notes, everything is a is a passing tone. So the low Korean, E flat low Korean is actually D flat minor or C sharp minor, however you want to look at it. to write a melody here um so let me t t <laughs> turn the lead guitar down here a bit let's try this again
Why would you be in tune? I should just tune the B and G strings high so that maybe in 10 minutes they'll be in tune. Alright. Let's work on that melody again. So now I've got a sort of a melodic rhythm. Um, let's get it into the progression, which is G flat, B flat, A flat major, E flat minor. So G flat major, B flat minor, A flat major, E flat minor. So if we were going to use the thirds on that, it would be. B flat, uh, B flat, D, D oh, B flat, D flat, C, and then G flat. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, Mikey, I'll bite. I don't know why I keep saying that that line from from uh, Swingers. I mean, I haven't seen that movie since the '90s. Yeah, be glad.
it's a bit of a motive there, but definitely a motive, a bit of a theme, um, something to develop. Try some tension notes, shall we? some tension notes at the end there. Damn. All right. Keep at it. I like that. more interesting.
try that. that see what it sounds like in context because you know when you're thinking about and you're playing you're not really hearing all of it together See if that makes any sense. Yeah, if it was in time, it might. Here comes that 15 count. too soon sorry I gotta hit there you have to hear the 15 count again and you go have a sandwich with this one I'm always you know I'm jumping to that I'm jumping ahead because I'm counting 12 and not 15 or feeling 12, I should not count anything.
record anything good. I'm right, gonna give it one more shot so I can get this melody down. should be it for our scratch track. Now, I will most likely go through later and flesh out that melody, but right now I got the primary notes um, that I may want to use <laughs> and this whole thing could be scrapped by the end of this because this is definitely an experiment messing with all these time signatures uh, starting from starting with a complete blank slate I honestly don't know how it's going to play out but just Keep grinding it out. On to the 12 8. Isn't that so much more comfortable? Do that as our chorus. Duplicate this, get it out of the way, edit our baseline to match, which is going to be much simpler now. <laughs> if I was writing some of my experimental music, I would just leave that. 
but we're playing it straight. A little root fifth action going here. Ooh, no. yeah. Keep it straight. We're having some fun now. Oh, 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 there's one more bar of B flat, A flat. It's a better progression. It's a little more natural um, inside of these shifting time signatures. Ooh, let me hear that transition. about this snare move it ahead see how that sounds yeah I like that better it highlights the uh, the first Oh, I took away too much. That's okay. This is an easy fix. So I'm not thrilled with the, with the. I, I like the progression. I like the chord progression. Um, I like the change. Absolutely love the rhythmic tension, um, going from 15/8 to 12/8, and that was generated by an algorithm. Thank you, thank you, robots, for making our lives better. <laughs> um, not thrilled with the chord rhythm, the harmonic rhythm, but um, that will be adjusted later on in the editing phase and then the recording phase but uh yeah i think this is it i gotta sign off and um probably see you tomorrow morning but the uh the my 
stream schedule has changed for the time being. Um, but I think in June we should be able to, I should be able to get back to daily. Um, right now it's just Wednesday through Friday at best. Anyway, I've uh, bored you all enough, and I will talk to you tomorrow.